Hi, I'm going to show you how to make these sparks particle effects in Godot 4.2. And as always, the source code for this project is linked in the description. And if you want to see more tutorials, hit that subscribe button. So let's dive in. So I've prepared a little scene here. And let's add a GPU particles 3D. In this GPU particles 3D, go to draw passes and make it a quad mesh. Open the quad mesh up. And in the material tab, drag in a round circle, something like this, into the material. And open the material up, and in the emission, enable emission, and make the glow something yellow, a yellow color, and then make the energy for it something high, like, let's just max it out, why not? And go down to billboard, enable billboard, and enable keep scale. By enabling keep scale, we can change the scale later in the process material, so keep scale enabled. And now we're done with the... Just kidding, we're not done. Go to the transparency, enable alpha scissors, and set it to something like 0.9. I like 0.9. And now we can close this down. Go to the process material and make a new particle process material. I'm gonna move this up so we can see it. And now you see it drops a bunch of balls inside of the process material. Let's make it spawn something like 30 uh, on the amount. And on the time, let's make it like five seconds. We're gonna change that later. And randomness, I like to set this to 0.5 for everything. Now we can go down to spawn, position, and I like the sphere shape for the emission shape. And let's make it something smaller, like 0.1 or maybe 0.2. Let's make it like that for now. Let's make the initial velocity something like 0.5, maybe 1. And now it starts shooting a little bit more. Now we can go to, let's see if I can find it, gravity. Let's make it go in one direction a little bit more. Something like that. Maybe that's too much. Let's lower it down. And I think it's going down too much. So let's lower, uh, too fast I mean. So let's lower that down as well. Something like that, so it's like dropping a little bit slower. Next, we want it to like hit the ground and bounce. So we're going to enable collision and make it rigid. And for the collision to work, we need to add a GPU collision box 3D. Um, move this down a little bit and make it bigger. And as you can see, it hits the ground. And let's make it bounce. This is pretty cool. 0.5 is probably okay. And then we're gonna change the display scale as well, so it's a lot smaller. So we make we made a new curve here. Open that curve up and make it a lot smaller, something like that. And I like in the middle to have something like a little bit bigger. So it's like small, start small, and then a little bit bigger, and and then goes down smaller again. I think the time is too much, and I'm also gonna move this down just to show better. Let's move this here, and let's change the time now, because now it's too long for that, right? Something like one second is actually fine for this, and since it's just one second now, we can lower the amount to something like maybe 10. Let's do eight. Yeah, eight is fine. And that's almost everything. I like, I don't really like the scale, I think it's too big. I'm gonna lower that. Uh, and make the lowest one even smaller. I like that. And I want like some bursts of a bunch of um, electrical sparks sometimes. So we're gonna duplicate this um, spark effect we just made, control D. And inside of it, we're going to go open up the time and we're going to make it explosiveness and turn that up to some 
quite big like yeah and now we see we get some sparks sometimes i also noticed that i think the sparks bounce too much so we're gonna increase the friction to something like 0.5 maybe i kind of like that and that should have changed for both of them yeah and that's pretty much it for the particle effect this has just been a short tutorial and if you know how to make the particles better in any way please leave a comment down below join my discord server and thanks for watching